How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I have a haul video for you. I did say I was going to have a haul coming up. Um, just items that I had collected over a couple weeks worth. Um, been a while now because like I've, I've had several of these like for almost a week in its own self and some of them a couple weeks so but I just haven't had a chance to really do the haul because I had some other things I was trying to get up and do reviews on and swatches and and everything so um, it's pretty hot so kind of one reason why my hair up um, and then just also um, I'm in the midst of like tonight or tomorrow morning I'll probably wash my hair so it's to that point like um, as you know me I don't really always wash my hair every single day I do it every couple times like couple times in a week or something and do deep conditioners and stuff and I use my tweak tweaked I think that's how you say it and it reminded me because like even though it's pricey it's a good product you know it's like sometimes you get overwhelmed and you get so many products and then it's like oh, you know like I said before it's like oh yeah you know now I know why I liked that so let's go ahead and get to the haul instead of chit chatting about an old uh, video <laughs> so ooh, where do I begin I want to start thing. with some Walmart uh, like body wash shampoo and things for your hair and whatever and face and so on so, uh, I did pick up my uh, eyebrow shapers. I did get a pack of these. I get these all the time in Walmart, but uh, usually I get three, so I have two in there right now. So my third one's uh, in the bathroom cabinet. So um, these are like dollar something, two dollars. I don't know. They last me a good while, so I like to use them for just doing certain little trimmings around my eyebrows and little facial areas. I was uh, walking around and I was in the hair section and I noticed this little display of L'Oreal products where they were like um, bigger than a sample size. I'm trying to think of the word that I want to use right now and I just can't. Today's like blank mind day. So they, they had several things from L'Oreal and this is some skincare products. Um, had the one in the gold pack. Uh, I think that I wanted to get the pore minimizer. I wish I would have. They're like six dollars and some odd change. And I get mine paying it because it will give me an idea of if I'm gonna like these products or not. You know, like if I want to maybe purchase them and give them more of a try if they're gonna work for me. Um, so this one here is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Cell Renew Renewal Golden Serum. Looks pretty nice. It has like a transparent, translucent uh, look to it. So I'll be giving that a try. And then I got the Age Perfect Glow Renewal Facial Oil Treatment. I love face oil, you know, like oils for your face and everything. Um, mostly like something like this I like to use at night. I don't usually put, um, maybe the Argan Oil I did put on my face before during the daytime, but a lot of them I don't like to. And um, that's in a cute, you know, cute little bottle like this. So, I mean, it's enough to give them a try and kind of have an idea of how well they work for you. Um, I love the Caress line in the body washes. And um, I, I know they have some newer ones. And um, I haven't really tried any of the ones in the black. They're like in a black container uh, tube bottle. <laughs> so, but I got this one here and it's Crest Glowing, Glowing Touch is what it is called. Crest Glowing Touch. And it has shea cream and gentle skin brighteners. <sighs> this smells like the other one's peach something. I'm trying to remember, is it like white peach something is the other one that I like really well. This one's even it's it's really nice. I don't I don't know how to explain it. It has do you, know, you know what? It's so funny because like this almost reminds me of the same scent of the Carol Daughter hair mask that I like that smells like bubble gum. But I don't know if I'd want to go to that extreme because there's something else to it that's a little warm too. It's really nice. 
then for the hair, I seen um, I had gotten well. They used to be called Organics. You probably know who I'm talking about or what company I'm talking about. And I've tried the Moroccan Argan or the Moroccan one shampoo and conditioner. I've tried the coconut one. Um, I've tried the Argon one, and there's several other kinds. Well, they have these new, I don't know how new they are, but they're new to me anyway. They have these out, and it's the Moisture Plus Vitamin B5 uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. And they're not called Organics anymore, they're OGX. So there they are there. Um, it says, drench and nourish every strand with this rich blend of vitamin B5 that speeds, speeds moisture to stress locks, rebuilds damaged uh, lipids to improve ability to retain moisture while adding strength and elasticity to get your hair back. Hair, your, your hair? <laughs> Did I just say that? Wow, Lori, <laughs> to get your hair back to healthy. So I got those, and then in and around with it, I seen they had a weightless oil mist uh, for the hair too. And it is quite really nice. Um, the whole the whole thing has been I have used it twice now since I've had it, and this smells amazing. Not to mention the weightless oil mist, a really nice uh, oil mist to put in your hair. And then um, I'm noticing that these have been uh, going off the shelves, and I'm not seeing restocked. But the, um, I don't know if you say Schwarzkopf, is it Schwarzkopf or something? I, I noticed they're, they're doing a whole new, like they're calling it that, they're not calling got to be anymore, because this is the Schwarzkopf, Kopf or whatever, got to be kinkier, and I love the um, cream, I've used the mousse, and this one here is the curling, it's the curling spray gel. I got the curling spray gel. To give a try and i'm really liking it it's really nice it's not one of the ones that gives you stickiness you know like when you spray uh, some spray gels it can be sticky or whatever this isn't giving me any problems so i was really liking it and i do like the got to be kinkier line um i have to look into it i don't know if anybody else knows i mean like i noticed the like i said the schwarzkopf well, that's how you, if i'm butchering it i apologize but like i notice um, they're not calling got to be it just has the name his name uh, that name there and um, they've changed the products they're a little more even pricey um, I'll have to look more into it and see what they have for curly hair so but if they're discontinu discontinuing these I'll be a little bit disappointed because I really liked the got to be kinkier products. so while in Walmart of course I had to go in the makeup aisle you know I always have to laugh you know, like, like, it, like it's something that you have to do. Um, I was looking at the lipsticks, of course, lipsticks, different places. I have the one color on right now. It's from the e.l.f. Uh, matte lip color. They come in these packs here. And I've always heard so many people talk about the tea rose color. Uh, the tea rose, yeah, the tea rose color. So I picked it up. It is a very pretty color. And um, even though they're supposed to be matte, they seem a little moisturizing. But there it is right there, the tea rose color. It's really pretty. So I have that actually on my lips today. So I'm liking that. And in one of my other videos, I talked about these two lip products. Uh, this one here is the Cover... CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Liner, and this one's in... You're okay, honey. You're kitty. This one's in 225 Beloved. I ain't showing this in my... So that's the lip liner. And it's a really pretty... Really pretty color. I love the Lip Perfections from CoverGirl anyway. They re did them now and uh, like named them a little bit different and put them in different packaging but I'm gonna get some of the peach colors oh I have to get some of the peach colors then I've never tried the L'Oreal infallible lipsticks I've never tried any of them I know they've been out before and I think they changed the package or did something or maybe there's new colors or something I heard somebody say 
This is 112 Unending Kiss. And it, I used it with that lip liner. I think I'm going on a little, whatever, pink, nudie colors and mauve colors right now. <laughs> there it is right there. It's really pretty. This goes on very moisturizing, but then it mattifies after a while. Like it looks nice and moisturizing right there it is. Um, and then it kind of mattifies. It really stayed really stayed on. I was pretty impressed. Okay, so then blushes. I got two blushes in Walmart. Um, I'm not even sure who it was I was watching. And I only have one other color, and it's a rose color, of these blushes from the L'Oreal True Match blush. Um, I only have one, one other color. Like I said, it's a rose color. This one is in um, Innocent Flush N3-4 is what it has. This was like the last one left. And what caught me of the color is yeah, it has like a real pretty peach color to it. Like just a beautiful natural peach and maybe pink, but it, and it's real, it's sheen. It's like, it goes on real, they're just so soft. <laughs> I know people have talked about these before. There's what it looks like there. I know it looks, don't look like much of anything, but when you put these on, it's crazy. Cause like when I first did the rose one too, I was like, wait a minute, you know, like, but when you put it on, it's crazy. It goes on perfectly on your, on your cheeks and it looks fine you coming down there goes baby but yeah that's the color right there oh it's so pretty and like I said it goes on like you wouldn't even need you wouldn't even need a highlight for that it just gives you this beautiful um flush blushy I don't know just it's beautiful there it is, right there. I really like that. I'm going to get more because there was a couple other colors and I can't remember the one color I wanted to get, but uh, I see there was only one of these and it kind of caught my attention, so yeah, I grabbed it. And like I said, you can see the sheen on it. It's just so pretty. Camera's not going to do it justice, but if you can get your hands on Innocent Flush, I say get it. Um, these blushes here I really love is the Maybelline Master Highlight. Um, I have the mauve one, I have the coral one. Oh, I know, I got the natural. There's a natural one. Natural I use as a highlight, like a topper on my blush. Uh, the mauve one's really pretty, the coral one's really pretty, and I'm going to get the bronzed colors too. But, um, these are just really nice, and I wanted to have another pink blush. This is, like I said, um... Another one that you don't need no highlight for. You definitely wouldn't need no highlight at all. It gives a nice uh, sheen too. Right cheeks. Right there it is. Let's see right there. You can see the sheen there too. So that is Pink Rose. So then uh, I just got a few things from Sephora. Um, I'm probably getting more stuff like with my birthday month probably. Um, but of course I did, I'll just show you this real quick again. The um, I'm not going to do much into it because I did a, a video all on it, but, you know, the uh, Makeup Forever uh, Artist One Palette, um, you know, having all these real pretty, whoops, real pretty neutrally shades. So that's the Artist One Palette. I did do a video and I could put it down below. You can see more of the swatches. And then I went ahead and picked up, um, oh. I always like these. Now, I got the Olay Hendrickson the last time. This time I got Claire, is it Claire? No, Origins. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. 
It's uh, the Origins. Um, this is the ginseng pack. They're all kind of backwards in there right now because I've been using them. Um, you get the ginseng refreshing uh, scrub cleanser. You get the ginseng energy boosting moisturizer. And then you get the ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff for the eyes. So I did try the eye stuff before. I had like a little packet. So I wanted to go ahead and give these other guys a try because I did like the eye for under the eye. And um, they seem pretty nice so here. Far. I'm thinking it was shades of Cassie. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it was Shades of Cassie had talked about the Sephora uh, Smoothing Brightening Concealer. These are the Sephora ones. And I got the color, um, I know it says here, Claire, but it's the Rose Radiance. Is that what it is? Yeah, Rose Radiance. I'm looking on here and um, it says with hydrating hyaluronic acid didn't realize that just until now because I'm really liking this. Um, I know it was in the teens somewhere but I can't quite remember um, exactly the price but you know it's like one of them twisted up ones and um, of course I've been using it to brighten up underneath but there you see right there the color that it comes off with and I noticed it was sold out, so it must be so a popular right there guy. Is where I just put it at, and it's really, really nice. And that's Rose Radiance, and it doesn't. It seems very creamy. It didn't sit on my fine lines or anything. It dries pretty quick too. I mean, that's pretty amazing there. Like I said, it's right there. You can see the difference from where you can see my veins and just different things. So it really is. A, I really like it. And I'm pretty sure it was her that talked about that. Um, the lip creams. Everybody's been raving over these lip creams, and I totally see why. I did get a rose color the last time I had ordered from Sephora. This one here, um, it kind of stings. I think it's on the bottom of my lip here. This, but it, It's so hard to read. You'd almost need a magnifying glass. I mean, maybe somebody that does have better eyes, but it is very small on there. I mean, very, very small. I believe it's African Violet. This I wore on my last video when I was, sh well, in my video that I was doing the swatches and stuff of the Makeup Forever, and it's the African Violet. I'm in love with this color very much. It is awesome, flattering, um, I believe, on my skin too. I mean, it's just so pretty. So I do want to get, these, these do dry to a mat. Right there it is. It is so pretty. I really like it and I want to get more of them and definitely want to get another one of these. So got that. Um, then I wanted to get and try Hourglass the Indestructible Matte. I got the one in, um, where does it say here? Somewhere, I know it does. Dusty Rose. I got the one in Dusty Rose. They're them just they're the smaller ones. They're like mm, ten dollars or something. There's like I think like a neutral one and then the dusty rose one. It's, look how cute. Such a cute little thing. Ten dollars for that though when you really think about it. It's pretty bad when you think ten dollars isn't too bad and then once you start looking at anything, hmm. So anywho. Um looks like a flat dofa applicator on these. So, yeah, um, it's a pretty color and it's pretty opaque. I think this is one of their popular colors that they have in, in these lips. So right there it is there. Pretty opaque. So some of the, my, uh, for my points and just different things I got in several items, I got um, the Coors Black Pine Firming, lifting, and anti-wrinkle night cream for all skin types. So I got one of those. That's from Coors. Always here. So many talk about the Dolce Gabbana light blue. So I got a nice, cute little, little mini deluxe size of it. And how cute is that? That's just too cute. 
But you know, the scent reminds me in some way of one of my favorite scents from Ed Hardy, which was Love and Luck. It had the Geisha woman on it. And that's one of the reasons why, because I, I love anything that has Geisha on it. If you didn't know that about me, that is a random fact. I love stuff with Geisha on it or anything that has Geisha, th you know, things like the robes, any of that, any of that stuff. So, but that's what it reminds me of, is the Ed Hardy. Um, and, oh, then I, I love this perfume. So, it's so awesome when you get these little perfume samples because, you know, you can play with them, try them out more, or you don't have to worry about buying the big bottle because you're stocked up on perfume. And I'm pretty stocked up on these little wonderful little perfumes like this. And this is Chloe, and I just, I love the smell of Chloe. Chloe is another one I would love to get. I'm gonna spritzy. I just love, love Chloe. Okay, and then the beautiful cat uh, from Glamorous Life had talked about the Guerlain uh, meteorites. This is the uh, liquid kind. It's the baby glow. I heard other people talking about it. Um, you know, you can like mix it within your foundation to kind of give you a nice luminous uh, glow and everything. And since Girl on such a high priced product, because for my birthday, I'm going to get something like splurge on something or just like get a, get a fancy schmancy name of some sort. I don't know. Just one thing, if, if I can just get one thing. Um, so I wanted to see about this. I, mm, I'll have to see how much this is, but I wouldn't mind even getting the Guerlain little balls and ball things, or just the compact thing itself. I've thought about that. I thought I'd like to give this a try, and I heard Kat talking about it, and I think she really liked it really well, if I'm not mistaken, so. But that is it, guys. I believe that's it, I hope. It's enough. Hey, anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I so much appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a good thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it, and also uh, share, and um, you know, that would help me out so much. I'm moving stuff because my cat's coming. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would so much appreciate it, and as always, babies, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until next time, I'll take care.